Hey y'all, just wanted to provide a quick update on everything. Everything's trucking along here with my uh, Jiffy Pods. Got my onions going right here. Got my broccoli. I have a couple of different lettuces that are just sprouting. And my leeks have been going strong for a few weeks. Everything's moving. The way I've just been working these is I've been soaking the pods as directed by the instructions, putting the seeds in, covering them up, and then putting them into an enclosed location until they sprout. Then I've been moving them out here. So I'll uh, show you where I've got my seeds right now and then take you outside and show you how I've got the garden set up. Okay, these are these are my other seeds here. I've just been keeping them inside of a pantry closet, but I still have another onion. I've got a couple of... Uh, See, um, lettuces, I got a few peppers, they're going to take a while, peppers always take a long time, and then another onion over here. These guys I'm going to re-wet and put back into the dark location to keep them warm so that way they'll sprout and then I'll move them over to my other area where I just showed you how I've got everything else growing. That particular lot of seeds I've been moving in and outside to harden them off. We've been getting some great weather here in Virginia and everything's looking nice. Alright, let me take you out to the garden and show you what I got. Okay, so here's the garden. Sorry if this is jumpy, but I'm walking. I went ahead and made two 4x8 raised beds following the um, method in the square foot garden book. I'm going to go ahead and try that out this year. I put them a little bit higher than 6 inches, but I got pallets that are repurposed for that. And on top of my garden, or my garden compost mix that I got from Veteran Compost up here in Virginia, also covered it up with some organic hay that I got from Nick's Organic Farm and I'm wanting to use that as a top cover and hopefully it'll keep some of the water down from drowning out my soil. We're supposed to get a rainstorm this weekend and also keep some bugs out of it and make everything grow nicely and keep the soil in. In addition to these uh, 4x8 beds, I've also got some T-post that I'm going to net off to keep the deer out because we do get deer and rabbits here and squirrels. So I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put netting all around there, and then at some point I'll cover the top here with some type of netting or some type of hoop. That way I can completely enclose this area and keep all the wildlife out, minus the bees. I got a great deal on the soil from Veteran Compost. I got three yards for a few hundred dollars. I ended up filling up both of these beds, and I also filled up a bunch of the. Um, well, they call them root pots, but they're basically air pots. They let more air flow in, and then I top those off. So I got 15-gallon, 15-gallon. Uh, this one right here, I believe, is a 20-gallon. And then I've got three 15-gallons down there as well. And then on my back porch, I ended up adding a few additional pots as well. I'll show you those real quick. I got a few additional five gallon and three gallon pots over here and a couple of pots right here those are five gallon buckets i got extra soil in for propagating seeds and then over here on the right this is just bare dirt but i sprinkled excess soil over there and i put hay onto it and i'm just going to let that compost down over the summer and throughout this year and hopefully next year i can get some blueberry bushes in there or some type of uh, really nice looking plants i'll cover this up with some more soil at some point and then I'll put another layer of hay and leaves to compost it down and then I'll wind up using that as a bed. All right, that's all I got for now. Stay tuned. I'll be planting soon. I got spinach I'm going to put in this weekend. Even though it's late February, it's been unseasonably warm. Hopefully the spinach will make it through March and then I can start really getting after it in April. Let me know if you have questions. Bye.